Hey everyone, welcome to Writing with Rob. And uh, today, we're working on the, uh, the Civic. It broke down on us. Yes, right, old reliable finally uh, decided to leave me stranded on the side of the road. But let me show you what I found. Now, uh, the condition we were having was a uh, crank but no start. So, I got into uh, our fine distributor here. And as you can see, I got a nice new rotor. And uh, this right here, I got a nice new coil on there. And uh, I got a new cap that's going to be going on it. Now, these were all original equipment, so they all had probably about 200,000 miles on them. <laughs> and uh, a few months ago, I had to replace spark plug wires because they had, well, 200,000 miles on them. So let's take a look at what we found when we took this apart. So here's the inside of our cap, and I, I, can, I know already it's hard to see, but uh, if you could... On the ends of each one of the uh, the uh, points there, it has a lot of corrosion. They're worn back pretty far. The, the tip of this is, is pretty black, and uh, so you see there's there's corrosion on, on this. It's it's pretty old. If you take a look at the new one, here these are all bright and shiny and new, no corrosion whatsoever. So you know that was definitely one of the issues I was having. This is the rotor now. If you take a look at the top there, it is super corroded, and uh, so that was another issue. So we're draining a lot of spark power from our from our coil just to jump that gap. Let alone having, uh, I'll set this back down, having bad spark plug wires as well. So I changed these, and it just ended up being a little too much for the old coil. Now, the reason why I knew the coil was bad is if you can see, it is got burn marks on it and heat scorching all the way up and down the side here. Now you can use a multimeter, which I didn't have happen to have on me. It's at the garage, um, and you can test from here to here, um, as well as from here. And you can check for uh, continuity and also uh, certain resistance. Uh, I forget what the specs are right now, but uh, they're online. They're pretty easy to find the specs for this. Um, if you want to double check, make sure your coil's okay. This one definitely bad. I mean, it is burnt. So this is a pretty easy uh, change. You got. Take a look on the new cap here. You got three bolts here, and uh, it's one, then two, then three. Comes off. Uh, this is held on with a screw. Uh, see if you can see it. Yeah, right back there. You got a you got a screw. This pulls off, and this cover pulls off. Then you have this exposed. You got one screw here, one screw down here, and then also let's take a look on the old one because the cover is covering it. Here on the two test points, there's there's two uh, Phillips head screws also. So then that comes and slides right out, and uh, pop the new one back in and just reverse the process. Our new cap came with a nice new uh, rubber gasket right here, so to keep moisture out, so we'll be running a lot better. Now if you're ever um, looking at something like this, you got a crank and it won't start, um, there's three things to check for. So what you want to check for, you want to check for air, fuel, and spark. Now, um, air and spark are pretty easy to test for. Uh, make sure that uh, your air filter is not clogged, and uh, <coughs> you know, make sure your throttle body doesn't have anything stuck in it. You're getting air. And then spark, if you just pull one of the spark plugs out, keep it hooked up to the, uh, to the spark plug wire, have somebody crank the engine over while the spark plug is touching some bare metal, you'll either see a spark or you won't. Now, in this case, I didn't. Now, <coughs> an easy way to check for fuel is just to listen. You turn the key on, you should hear uh, a little buzz and then a click. So you'll you'll hear the relay click on and off for the fuel pump. If you don't hear that, check your fuel line. Um, somewhere along the fuel line, you should be able to loosen it or get some kind of port. Have your buddy turn the car on. You know, don't try and start it. Just to the on position. And uh, if fuel starts squirting out, you're getting fuel. So if you're getting spark and you're getting fuel and you don't have anything blocking your air system, uh, a good thing to that would probably narrow it down to um, would be either the mass airflow or the map sensor, depending on the type of car. Now, uh, one other thing I'm going to be changing on the Civic um, is the intake air temperature control. Now, I noticed I was getting some pretty bad gas mileage lately. Well, at least for the Civic, anyway. And as you can see right here uh, on our air box, I'll unplug this real quick. There is a little sensor right here. And this is our air intake sem sensor. Now, when my car, when the car died, the uh, check engine light did come on. So I was definitely um, concerned about that, got it scanned, said that the uh, air intake temperature sensor was reading high voltage. Now, that wouldn't stop the car from, from starting, so I definitely knew that wasn't my major issue as far as starting, but 
that's where my bad gas mileage is coming from. I just had a bad sensor. So this is really easy to replace um, with it unplugged. If you just get a little wiggle and tug, she pops right out. It's just a rubber grommet just behind the, uh, the air filter here. So very easy to do. Push that back in. Plug her back up. She's all changed out. Now, quick tip when you're doing this. Um, you see I don't have my my new cap on. My old cap here, she still attached to spark plug wires. Good reason for this. So I don't lose which ones they go to. Now when I put this guy back on, okay, I'll be screwing, you know, putting screws in and everything. All I gotta do is line up the old cap with the new cap and take one wire at a time and move it over to the new cap. Easiest way to not screw up the, uh, the firing order, easiest way to make sure that you're not the reason why it's not starting. So, um, Anyway, guys, hope that uh, helps some of you out. Uh, make sure to hit like and subscribe. We're always doing projects in the garage and talking about cars. And uh, thanks a lot for watching.